So I'm assuming 202 typically uh, is containers and your mixed freight. Your containers are going to have your set off for Greencastle, Harrisburg, uh, Rutherford, and then the freight will continue on to Allentown. That will have the Greencastle set off up front, containers, freight, then more containers for Rutherford. Every now and again, and I think this might be a train like that. This is gonna be your Harrisburgs, right here. If they did that, they put the Green Castle set off at the head end, which they should do. That's, it makes it so much simpler when you get up to Green Castle. You'll have the Green Castle right behind that DP. We gotta pull all that freight up, cut behind the D well, cut behind the set off, set all that in. That's a lot of tonnage to be shunting back and forth when you got that. It makes it a lot more sense to do what they did. High noon here in Stanley, Virginia at the Ed Good Memorial Park, right here next to the tracks. 202 coming north, they're just topping over the hill now, and they're gonna meet K-47 right down here in the siding. I was hoping that one would come back around again, and I get to see that. All right, here comes the end of 202. Shenandoah going south back to Waynesboro and uh, something interesting we got here this is an old Mark passenger car from the Mark commuter trains up in Maryland and uh, I believe that's the that's the car they're gonna put on the 12z so I was listening to the scanner on the way here uh, they have instructions to set a car onto the rear of 12z at Island Ford we're gonna go check that out here in just a little bit but I bet you that's the car a lot of these cars have been coming in 
and they go to Enola and places like that. I don't know who's buying them up or where they're going to, but a lot of them have gone north. That's the third one I've seen through Shenandoah Yard. Two at the same time, back to back to each other, and then this is the third one. So, and there's our train right there. They are out of the yard. They are clear to the 10 mile an hour speed limit and they can go south. hear a, a ratcheting sound down there. The conductor is tying handbrakes. They do a brake test, make sure the cars will hold uh, right here on the siding. They will cut between that uh, hopper and the passenger car, set the passenger car on top of the rear of 12Z on the main, come back out light power, back in the siding against their train and head south. So I did a little research on this rail car. If you look at the previous shots, you'll see BBRX on paper taped to the inside of the window of this rail car. That reporting mark belongs to Bombardier Incorporated, and they are a commercial air and rail vehicle manufacturer. So my guess is that they were sending these cars either for repairs or they are being shipped brand new to Mark. Don't know exactly. Um, somebody who's closer to the Mark trains in Maryland might have a better idea. If you look closely, you'll see a flagger at this crossing protecting it until the gates came down. Sometimes the gates don't come down right away, so to prevent an accident, they flag the crossing. They either have a restricting signal here at Island Ford or permission by the stop signal on the main going and looking out for the train ahead. There's going to be somebody inside this rail car protecting the shove, and I thought for certain that they were going to actually couple this car to the rear of 12Z, lace it up, hang a marker, and have that be the rear car, but they end up leaving it right where it sits here on the main. And I guess 12Z, when they came on duty, coupled up to it later. Okay, well there the car sits. There it is. We come back over. Come back over here to the siding. Unfortunately, I missed the cutaway. I was trying to play with a drone. So, um, can't shoot with this and that at the same time. 